parents, how are you? I welcome you to this session. Last time, our discussion was on peer pressure. Today, we have a totally new topic. It's on parenting. I normally speak to teenagers. And last week, I was in a boys' school. And after the discussion with them, I requested them to raise issues that they needed to be resolved. And one of the students, a boy, looked at me straight in the eyes and told me, my parents should know that I need to have a relationship with them. They are never there. Wow, that has informed the discussion for today. Parent, what is parental absence? Because this is what the boy is talking about, parental absence. Parental absence is being absent from our children's life, either physically or emotionally. There are many causes that lead us to being away from our children physically. One of them is obvious, employment. We're involved in jobs, careers, and so on. Most of us wake up early in the morning and we prepare to go to work maybe before our children wake up. And we come a bit late in the evening, sometimes during supper time or later at night. Therefore, our children are not able to see us or they rarely have time with us on a daily basis. This goes on day by day. Sometimes, as we climb in our career path, we get so involved in our career progression and maybe we get involved in our work schedule such that we are forced to be away from our homes. Maybe we are involved in international travel. And while we are doing this, obviously, we are physically absent from our children. Well, the COVID-19 pandemic brought another scenario in our homes. This is work from home. And some of us thought, well, it's a good opportunity for us to interact with our children more. However, there's a parent who shows us that this might not be the case. She's a young parent with two children and she works from home. And during this period of working from home, she actually thought she would have more time with the children. However, this was not the case because her employer was monitoring her. She explained that she was required to work in her bedroom continuously because the employer would monitor the mouse of the computer. So if the mouse was idle for a period of time, should be alerted, hey, you're not working. So this meant she had to continuously be at her desk, except during the break periods. So although she was in the house, she was permanently in her bedroom working. Well, the house girls are able to monitor our movement. So the house girls realize, wow, my boss is very busy in the bedroom. Therefore, I can have my time in the sitting room. So what did she decide to do? She began watching pornography with the daughter of this lady. The daughter is six years old. And the mother realized about this because one day she came out of the bedroom without them expecting. And she found them watching pornography from the TV. So parents, are we physically absent from our children's life? Well, there are also other scenarios that cause us to be absent from our children. Another one is education. Maybe as we grew up, we did not get the right education that we expected. And right now, we have some funds 
we can sponsor ourselves to degree programs or postgraduate programs. And as we do so, there are obviously expectations, very serious expectations in our academic journey. There are assignments to be submitted and exams to be submitted. All these take a lot of time and investment in terms of resources, especially time. So what happens? Well, our children don't have adequate time with us because our focus is during the day on the job or the employment. And when we are free, we engage in our studies. Other issues in life cause us to be absent from our children's lives. For example, separation and divorce. When this happens, there is a custodial parent, the one who stays with the child. But there is the other parent who is not staying with the child. So this other parent is absent from the child, from the life of this child. Therefore, parents, there are many issues that cause us to be absent from our children physically. What about emotional absence? Well, studies indicate that people who were deprived of emotional support at their tender ages are more likely to deny their children emotional support as adults. Other reasons that cause us not to give emotional support to our children include issues like trauma, traumatic experiences. Well, one may experience trauma as a result of loss of a job, loss of a business, loss of a marriage, loss of a partner or a, a close relative, uh, domestic violence, and even chronic illness. What happens when you go through a traumatic experience? Well, most times you are engulfed in extreme fear, sometimes horror, and feelings of hopelessness. Sometimes you may fall or drift into depression. Well, we all know that a depressed parent may not give emotional support to the child. So I'm sure now you're familiar with physical and emotional absence of a parent. So what are some of the effects of parental absence? Well, one of the common ones is that a child may not be able to engage in normal activities. For example, taking a bath. And I worked in a high cost, prestigious school for 18 years. And there's an incident that has remained fresh in my mind up to now. There was this boy who used to be dropped in a luxurious car. However, as teachers, we noted that he was very untidy. In fact, he was dirty. So what did we do as teachers? The head teacher called the driver to take the child to the barber. And of course, later, the parents who've been very busy in international travels due to work-related duties were called and informed about the incident. You can imagine the embarrassment. Sometimes the house helps we live with our children would rather please the children rather than doing what is the right thing. So maybe if a child decides not to take a bath, they just tell the child it's okay. Because at the end of the day, they want the child to give a good report to the parent about themselves so that their salaries are guaranteed. Well, that is one of the effects. Research shows that boys who grow without the presence of a father figure are more likely to be involved in aggressive behavior and antisocial behavior. And they also have difficulty in personality development. Well, this has been proved through research. 
What about maternal deprivation? What happens when the mother is absent? Absent. The absence of a mother affects the child negatively almost in all areas of development, physical, emotional, social, and even in personality development. Well, so maybe you're wondering if this is so serious, what is the way forward? Well, I have three recommendations. The first one is read, read, and read because knowledge is power. In my 30 years of interaction with parents, I've realized that most parents are ignorant about principles in parenting. And therefore, reading will help you to acquire knowledge which you'll be able to implement. Well, some say, well, I learn through experience. But he said, said that you may not live long enough to gather all the knowledge possible through your experience. Therefore, it's good to read books written by experts. It's also good to watch videos or documentaries about parenting because they can assist you. The second one is please take time and take stock. Do a self-evaluation, an honest self-evaluation. Have you been physically absent in the life of your children? Have you denied your child emotional support? Well, answer these two questions honestly. Then the next one, just write down one thing that you will do differently. What is this one thing that you can do differently? One of the things I recommend is family meetings, just family meetings could be just 10 minutes in a day or if your program is too tight maybe one day in a week you set it for family time or maybe when if you are involved in international travel when you take your leave you ensure you do it within the period that the children are on holiday so that you have ample time with your children well this will help you create that relationship with your children. And maybe you may wonder, what can we discuss during all these family meetings? Wow, the topics are numerous, numerous. You could have devotions, you could have discussions on peer pressure, discussions on sexuality, discussions on social media issues, disc other discussions on general issues about life. So you don't need to limit to a specific a topic, be as creative as possible. And you know what? As you engage your children, they'll open up and they'll be able to confide in you and you'll be able to help them at the right time. So parents, if you think this video has been insightful and helpful, please subscribe and do share with your networks. And if you'd like more guidance on parenting, Kindly go to the website and place an order for a copy and we will deliver if you so wish. Goodbye. See you in the next one. Thank you.